Good morning, everyone, from Batu, a planet located on the edge of the galaxy. One might say it's located in Galaxy's Edge. So we are here today in this early, early morning because Nikki was complaining at me. <laughs> the last few times we went vlog and you were like, oh, we haven't gone on any rides. And we haven't done Disney in a while. I was like, you gotta hit Disney up. So I thought I would show her and I would take her on the newest ride in all of Orlando. You know what it is. Rise of the Resistance, Rise of baby. the Resistance. She's never been on it. I've been on it, uh, but I really wanted to get your take on it. Have you experienced, because this is yeah. amazing. It's amazing. Uh, so let's do this. It, we have our boarding pass, but uh, it's not for a while. So let's right. walk over. Maybe we should go do Star Tours first. Okay. And as we walk over there, I'll explain what happened to us this morning. Sounds good. So this morning, Hollywood Studios opened at 7 a.m. So what we do, we left our house at 6, got here at 6.30, uh, but once we scanned in through the turnstiles, we still could not get a boarding pass because it was before 7. Right, and that's different, right, from what you experienced last time. From the last time I was here, yes, it was like as soon as I got through the turnstiles, I could get my boarding pass, but they made everyone wait till 7 a.m. to sign up for the boarding pass today. Right. In comparison, the first time I was here, my boarding pass was number 19. Today is what, 66? Yeah. Oh, and order 66. <laughs> oh, the emperor's controlling us today. <laughs> oh no. Execute group 66. <laughs> oh, execute. <laughs> uh, I so like the sound of that. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how long it's gonna take, but we'll find out throughout the day. Yeah. Now, something did happen to a couple people we're with today. They did not have the Disney app updated, did they? It's been right. a while. It's been a year or two or longer since, since they've they been, here. been here. Within two years. Right. So when they tried to open up the app, it wasn't prepared for Rise of the Resistance. So if you're visiting, make sure you update the My Disney app. What is it? My Disney Experience app? Yes. Make sure you, make sure you have that updated before you get into the park. And since we are here so early, Star Tours is just a five minute wait. We're going to hop on and see what it's like today. They're a spy and a traitor to the first order. I've never seen that human before. Hello, kid. Gotta go. Don't be a fool. No. You are no match for the power of the dark side. Well, I was not chosen or spotted as the spy this time. Nope. Though, I'm always the spy, guys. I'm just really, really good at my job. They don't know it's me. Exactly. Um, but we did have like a unique tour of Star Tours this time. Yes. What was so different about it, Nikki? It was the new movie, Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker, it was which is awesome. Yeah, I did not expect that. I should have. No. Because they can update this all the time. Yeah. Um, but I, it was a nice surprise that it was Rise of Skywalker. And it was really clear. I don't know if you were able to tell, but you like it, mm -hmm. it was awesome. Yeah. Well, I was so excited the well, whole time. When I filmed it, I put the 3D glasses over the camera, so hopefully it turned out pretty good for you guys to see. Right. But it was nice seeing Lando. It was. And it was really cool to be like on the ruins of the uh, the Death Star. Yes, where it landed in that like ocean water. Yeah, that crazy and... waves and everything. Yes, it was so cool. So it was a lot, a lot of fun. Of it was. Yeah. Oh, you took my words. Yes, it's a lot of fun. I'm a thief. <laughs> <laughs> a quick look into the My Disney Experience app shows me they are now boarding group 20. So we got like 46 to go. <laughs> that means we have some time. And to Little Miss, I want to ride some rides over here. Hey! In addition, to Disney's newest ride, we're gonna go do Disney's best ride. I have fast passes for Tower of Terror. Yay! That's awesome! Woohoo! This is one of the nice things about like the boarding pass system. It doesn't affect your fast passes. So like we can just wander around now waiting for our pass to be called, our boarding group, and enjoy the rest of the park. Yeah. So we're going to enjoy the Tower of Terror. So you gotta be happy. Oh totally. Right? You, you, I'm giving you Tower of Terror. Give We've me. done Star Tours. Happy wife, happy life. And you're happy, right? Good. And when you're doing this, exploring the park, waiting for your group to be called, no need to worry. Once your group is called, you have two hours to board. So take your time and enjoy the park, guys. Yes. Still Christmas going on here. Christmas music, Christmas decorations, the tree's up. When's it gonna end? Tower of Terror, right now the standby is just 15 minutes. So we are going to double up. We're going to ride it once a standby, and then we'll use our fast pass. Ha 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 ha! Sweet! 
So that was turn number one on Tower of Terror. Yep. And a quick look at my uh, phone shows that like, now the wait's up to 25 minutes, and their boarding group were like 32-ish. Yes. Right around there. Yeah. Uh, For Rise of the Resistance. Because you're talking about both rides. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's right. Thank you so much. Uh, so did you enjoy your ride? I did. It's now, always awesome in the morning. Now here's the thing. Normally when we do Tower of Terror, I film with my Canon and she films with her iPhone. Yes. But we were in line and she's like, can I please not have to film this ride today? Can I, can I just, just enjoy, enjoy it? it? <laughs> so, that's what we're focusing on today. Enjoyment for Nikki. Well, thanks. Well, I'm having a good time too. <laughs> so now that the wait is 25 minutes, we'll use our fast pass and take another turn on Tower of Terror. Alright guys, that was ride number two on the Tower of Terror. Yeah. Every ride's fun. I'm going to put up the picture though. <laughs> this was a unique experience for Nikki. Tell me about the girl on your left. Oh, yeah, she grabbed my hand and I said, oh, you're holding my hand and she's like, yes, is that okay, please? <laughs> I was like, yes! <laughs> it was really cute. She was adorable. So now we're going to make our way back to Galaxy's Edge. My oldest child, Caitlin, and her boyfriend just got off of Smuggler's Run and they texted me, where do we want to go for breakfast? I have a feeling they want us to buy them breakfast. I think so. And Little you, stinkers. And you know me, I have a hard time buying food for two in a theme park. I gotta pay for four people now? Oh my God. And now it's time for Rick's quick food review of Docking Bay 7, the breakfast. Our first time at breakfast then. Yeah. What'd you think? I thought it was really good. Um, What'd we get? It was the like uh, Bright Sun's breakfast. I yes, think. yes, the Bright Sun's breakfast yes. platter. <laughs> the platter. Um, the cinnamon roll was really good. Yes, I wish I would have just gotten that. Um, since I'm trying to go meatless, I actually ended up having meat because I got up to the line and made a decision as like at the last yeah. second. So. Um, but it came but with the, the cinnamon roll and like a sausage hot dog thing. That was pretty good. And the the egg, egg was little good. egg thing was good. Yeah. And, and it had like a mushroom and potatoes. A potato kind of thing at the bottom. Overall though, I would say like a five for me. I thought that, okay, I like the eggs and then um, the cinnamon roll was awesome. Yeah. So next time I would totally just get the cinnamon roll. So it, the, the cinnamon roll boosted up the score, but still just like an average five. Oh, I thought it was like an eight. It, well, it was like, like 11 bucks, 10 to 11 bucks for one platter. Yeah. And every, we have four people in our party, everyone got the same thing. <laughs> so, we couldn't give you a review of anything different. We all like the cinnamon roll, put it that way. <laughs> exactly. And, but they do offer like a big one, right? Yes, they do. That's what you wish you would have got. Yes. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> We're on patrol. Keep it moving. A little short to be a trooper, aren't you? Aren't you a little bold for a civilian? <laughs> And now I can see the wait time for Smuggler's Run is just 80 minutes. I think we'll hop in single riders, hoping for like half that time. If we can get 40 minutes or less, I think that will be a good run on Smuggler's Run. So that was just a 30 minute wait, not too bad for single rider. Yeah. We were split up. 99% uh -huh. of the time when you do single rider, you're going to be an engineer, which is what I was, but what happened to you, Nikki? I got gutter. I was so excited. I, I actually took a picture of like my scores. Did you score well? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, well, you know but what? every time I saw a flash, I hit the button. So. At least you have it for next time. You can know if you beat your scores. Yeah, there you go. If you're a gunner. Yeah. <laughs> 
So it is now 10 o'clock, so it's been three hours since we signed up for our boarding pass. Uh, and they are number 53. Yes. So I'm hoping to have it done by lunchtime. Oh yeah, I think it's totally possible. So yeah, I'm thinking 11. I think we should be in the queue by 11. That's my hope. Yeah. That's four hours after getting here and signing up, so. Yeah. <laughs> You know what sucks or the bad thing about Rise of the Resistance? What? Having to wake up so early. Yeah, I mean, even if we, because we got here at 6 30, yeah. got through and in the park by what, 6 40? Yeah. And even if we had gotten here even sooner, it would not have mattered. Because we could not get the, uh, the boarding pass until 7. Yeah, so it's just, it's how fast your phone works as yeah. to how quickly how your How fast number... it connects. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So, so, I mean, I would hate to have gotten here 30 minutes even sooner and then been back yeah. behind us because my phone wasn't connecting fast enough. I'm glad I slept at 5.45. <laughs> I slept till 5, but that's okay. I normally get up at this time, so it's no big deal to me. You know what, guys? The ride is down right now. We have a delay with Rise of the Resistance. This is gonna push back our day. I know, and the thing is, is that we're doing something tomorrow, so I have to paint like rocks and stuff, yeah. and I haven't started any of them, so I don't know how many rocks I'm gonna get done. Well, this is just the bad thing that sucks about it, is, you know, you get here at 6.30, and then like, you have this, you, you try to get on the app to get your time, and uh, your boarding pass, and we get like a late boarding pass. Well, it's really not late, like 66 is not that bad. If it was working all the way through, I mean, we should have been on this by lunchtime. So, I mean, that's kind of the, the, just like the risk you're gonna take. Well, what do you wanna do now? I don't know, it started raining. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a rain. Um, we've already did TOT twice. And the other lines are kind of long, like it's like an hour for uh, the rock and roller coaster ride. I feel like everybody is Slink. like waiting for Rise of Resistance and doing all the other <laughs> rides, so everything is like just crowded. Slinky Dog's like an hour. We could go do like uh, one of the shows, like Indiana Jones. Or you know what we could do? We could drive home, take a nap, <laughs> and then come back. We could do that. It's a two hour window once you're boarding. Uh, group is called so that's true that is on the board for something else you know for us to do go home paint a rock come back yeah i could take a nap and do some editing but we'll see let's just wander around in this light mist we have decided to have an early lunch inside of the sci-fi restaurant uh we'll check out the vegetarian options and now it's time for rick's quick food review of the vegetarian burger at the sci-fi restaurant you go first nikki what did you think I really, really like it. Honestly, um, it definitely reminds me of a falafel. So it's got that, you know, kind of the chickpea um, flavor and the the stuff that came on it was fantastic. I really, really liked it. And because you were remarking, you would like order that again. I you? would totally order it again. Being that I'm trying to go vegetarian and I was bad this morning, uh, totally by accident. Um, this was something that I thought was really doable for me, for my personal taste. Okay, I hated it. I hated it. it. It's nothing like a burger. <laughs> no, it, it does, is, does not does taste not, at all like a burger. No, it doesn't. It does not taste like a burger at all. Uh, but I didn't mind it. I like it. I like it. It's, well, what I've had so far for like vegetarian burgers have mainly been the Beyond Burger. Yeah. And so they kind of taste like a hamburger. This didn't taste anything like a hamburger. No, it was like a hummus. It was like a pita kind of sandwich. It was good. I mean. I hated it. <laughs> So, yeah, 50, he kept 50. saying, yeah, and then like he's like, here, take the rest of mine. But yeah. he had like totally messed it up. He tried to make it like a hamburger. With ketchup liver. and mustard. And I was like, what did you do? You killed it. Oh, so I couldn't even eat his half because <laughs> you, you messed it up. Blah. Still waiting. And you know what? I've got a bad feeling about this. And here is your true Star Wars Galaxy's Edge experience, sitting around looking at your iPhone, waiting for your boarding group. Okay guys, so our boarding pass has been called. I'm gonna just do limited filming, because I did a whole POV before where I was real steady, concentrating on that, the camera for you guys. So if you click right up here, above Nikki's head, there will be a little, uh, a little card popping up. We can go check out the full POV. I'll do some highlights for today, but as for right now, we need to go board. By the way, the time is 12.37. That's when we entered the queue. Idiot, is everyone assembled? Good. The resistance desperately needs 
desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. and we've been through the queue and through the rides. What did you think, Nikki? First timer. <laughs> it was awesome. It was really, really good. You had oh fun, right? Yes, yeah. I love the drop. The drop is Honestly. the favorite part, yeah. Yes, it was so good. Because you get the, the physical thrill of that drop, yes. the visual, the on-screen visual yes. of taking, out the, uh, taking off on the escape pod. Yeah. So yeah, that is the I best mean, part. And I knew it was coming, so it doesn't ruin it knowing that it's coming right. because it's still the experience of it that's yeah. awesome. So, oh, so good. Oh, <laughs> fine. Six hours worth of waiting, but it was great. Awesome. So, yeah, yeah. all forgiven. I'm so happy that, uh, you know, like I could be there with you for your first time and get that experience with you. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, because I know you're a big Star Wars fan. I am. Well, ever since I was a little kid, my yeah. um, cousins Matthew and Daniel had like the little action figures and had the lightsabers that were blue plastic. You know, and had yeah. star fights with them when I was like you're, a kid. So. You're a Star Wars nerd. I am. I am. <laughs> and that was that. I think a little bit longer day than we anticipated. I think, yeah, that's why I was kind of grumpy. <laughs> but I promised you rides, and I gave you some good rides, didn't I? Yes, definitely. Okay. <laughs> we got Tower of Terror twice. We got every single Star Wars ride we did. available, which that's is right. yeah. awesome. Um, that in itself, you know, was great. But man, Rise of the Resistance is good. <laughs> so good. And with that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks. And now, time to relax. Hey, before I leave, let me take a moment to thank those viewers who this past week bought me a cup of coffee or a butterbeer. Thank you so much, Nathan, Joe and D. Baker, Matt L., Marissa Beach, and Cindy Abrams. Thank you guys so much for the support.